What's up guys? Today I have the um Spyderco Para 2 in Crewware. Uh I cut myself on this. That is how sharp this is. You can see um yeah, Crewware is really really nice. I'm really impressed. This might just be my favorite steel now. Um and this is a really really this might be my favorite folding knife now actually as well. Um clicks out really really cool. Uh, I think I got this, I definitely overpaid for this because I paid over 200 euro for this, I think 225, 230, when you can get these way cheaper, but I really, really wanted this, and I couldn't find it anywhere other than knivesandtools.com, which, you know, some of their stuff, if you guys live in Europe, you know that stuff on knives and tools can be a bit overpriced, um, but, you know, they ship really quickly, and, um, yeah, you know, they always have stuff in stock. So, yeah, that's that. Um, my card uh, scales on this, and it is a uh, compression lock. As you guys know, Spyderco likes their compression locks. Uh, yeah, uh, the crew wear, though, guys. Wow. Lovely jubbly on that crew wear. I cannot emphasize this enough. Um, from what I've heard, this is not a stainless um, steel. Uh, it's pretty close. Um, but I haven't had any water issues so far, like rust issues or anything like that. Um, and summer is approaching and yeah, I mean, it's just really, really nice. Um, you get jimping here and this is like the most ergonomic, hold on. So this is really, really nice. This jimping, I can really get down on this and cut. And the compression lock is really, really practical. Uh, so you can just close it like that. Open, close, open, close. And the only really, I guess, gripe I have about this is the pocket clip. Um, I ordered an MXG pocket clip. Hopefully that comes in soon. But, I don't know, it's just... Well, first things first, it's not... It's too big, and it's not very appealing. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's not very deep carry as well. Um, that's that's basically all my problem. My main problem is that it's not deep carry. Uh, but yeah, you have reinforcements in the knife. You have steel reinforcement. Um, so that's great. Uh, and then, yeah, so... Spyderco Para 2, um, I'm looking at the Para 3 in Maximit, but, you know, I might not even get that now, now that I have this, because this does everything that I need to do. I heard the Para 2 was smaller, and that's why it's better, uh, but I don't know why you would need something smaller than, th this is perfect size, at least for me, you know, and, um, I'm, I have basically average size hands, and, if you have uh, smaller hands than me, then I don't know. I, I just don't think that you would need something smaller than this. Um, but if you do, then do your thing. Um, so yeah, the pricing on this is pretty decent. I think these are kind of hard to come by. I really like the look though on this um, kind of sand colored micarta. Uh, and this crew wear. This is such a really, this is just such a good knife, honestly. Um, let me do some size comparisons for you guys. Um, these are the banter. I mean, most of you guys, this, this is a staple in the knife community. Most, pretty much everyone knows the Spyderco Para. Uh, God, this, this James brand, by the way, update, it actually flicks out kind of now. So it's way better now. If you guys want to check this out, I had made a review on this, um, my first review uh, last year, if you want to look at that. So yeah, um, the size on this knife, the actual blade itself is 3.5, um, th maybe a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit long. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure this is like... Okay, yeah, I think it is a little bit shorter than 3.5. Um, but, yeah. Um, you get a lanyard hole, uh, 
Honestly, the only thing I'm a bit worried about is it doesn't, I mean, not that it's that concerning, but it's a, there's a little bit of flex when I do this. You guys can see that's a little bit strange, but, um, yeah, it's not the sturdiest design. Um, this is, if you want something sturdy, I'd definitely go with a, for whatever reason, I would go with the James Brand Barnes because Tycrol Titanium, and then you have this, which is just, uh, I, I just don't like the flex. I, I, that can save me for some reason. Um, yeah, uh, spidey hole for your opening mechanism thingy. Uh, you can do the reverse flick, you can, I, I don't see why you would open it any other way. Uh, I guess you can do this. That's doesn't really work but uh yeah spydeco uh para 3 pm2 whatever you want to call it uh if you guys like this video hit the like button and uh any comments questions concerns just hit me up in the comments um yeah thank you guys bye